hello hello everyone um welcome to tuesday brand new week i hope everyone had an amazing weekend from my voice you can hear i had more than an amazing weekend um yeah it was a whole lot of fun um i shared some scenery photos uh some of the Hello, Darlene. Hello, Susan. How are you? Um, so I had two two loud nights out and talking over live music, which was fun. It was great. Hey, Jody. Thanks for joining. Um, but this is now the result after not going out in loud um, in loud venues. Um, I'm not conditioned for it anymore and this is my voice. Hey Shaz, early in the morning. Um, so yes, you guys are just going to have to bear with my croaky voice today um, because this is what's happening. You girls know when you come to my videos, real life, real time. Oh, Yes, totally real life and real time with that one. Hey, Colleen, real life, real time. You you get me as I come. So um, I have, by the way, my name is Ellen Woodbridge. If you haven't been here before, I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. And I am a bit over an hour north of Sydney. So, you know, on a map, work out where I am. I'm on the central coast. Uh, so I have grabbed out and I have now grabbed that catalog to tell you the truth. I have flipped back to our mini catalog and I have grabbed out the designer series paper in the card on the front cover. So this is our flowering fields uh, paper. And I will show you a little peek. So our flowering fields paper. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Darlene. Yes, I cannot be professed to be anything but myself. It's never worked in my life, so why try now? Um, and I also grabbed our oldie but a goodie, the Chula Punch, to go with it. I haven't chosen... A sentiment set yet so we might do that together and I because this tulip has no stem I've grabbed out two stem sets I went through all my dies good day Leslie how are you I've got out the organic beauty that goes with the true beauty stamp set and I thought maybe this hey Monica but then I was flicking through and I found the honeybee blooms and I found this piece of greenery that I thought would go really well with the tulip punch. Um, I've also grabbed out a whole heap of label punches, a uh, label punches, oh my God, label dies um, to go with any sentiments that I do choose. Hello, Miss Rochelle. So many of you coming on. Now, I do have something new to show you. This is, this has been out in other markets for a while, but we had a bit of a delay in Australia. And this is, let me put it the right way around, our magnetic uh, cutting mat. Now, this is for the stamp and cutting emboss machine. I will grab that out later. But it is new and improved. It has a metal back. Um, the previous version of this, which I still have, did curl. Um, if I use it now a lot, it'll curl. I prepped a whole um, class, uh, my launch. I prepped my whole launch on this. It was uh, die heavy so this is a self-healing mat so it is now available in Australia which is fantastic and also just to remind you um, of the joining special that goes till the end of this month um, which has everything to do with the in colors so if you are looking at purchasing the um, in colors um, please 
consider signing up because you get a free pack of all five ink pads and a sort of pack of the A4 cardstock. You get the six by six uh, designer series collection. Hello, Helen. Hello, Kay. Um, the six by six uh, paper collection. And you get in special in color grid paper. Um, so that is free on top of the $235 that you get for free. And that's all for $169. So it is fantastic value. So if your wish list um, is over $169 in Australia and you are interested in getting the in colours, have a chat with me about joining up and I'd be more than willing to help. Hello, Miss Sue. I don't know who else I have missed coming in. Hello, Miss Helen. Okay, so I am going to flip around. If I cough or need my water more frequently today, you know why, because you can hear it in my voice. You! Yay! Yay, Eileen, that's fantastic. So let's flip around, turn off the overhead light, and we can get playing. I have an idea about which paper I would like to be, sorry, making a whole lot of noise here. Um, I do have an idea about which paper I would like to use, and it's my favourite, um, and I haven't used it as yet. So that will be a whole lot of fun to use. Now, uh, and flip flip my camera hooray yay right let's move this across a little yeah fairly centered check the bottom no i'm twisted just a titch just a titch i think i'm good i'll go turn off that light and we're ready to rock Okay, rightio, uh, I think we're good, I think, just, just do a bit of an angle check, that's a bit better, just need to move this cord, that's causing a bit of a shadow. So my laptop keeps charging. So flowering fields, let's have a look at it because I don't own this whole suite. All I have is the paper. So that's why I grabbed out the tulip punch. So in the table of contents, we are on page 14 to 17 and I open up a page or two beforehand. Okay. So, this is Flowering Fields. So, they are some of the samples. And this is one of our mega sweets because you've got two stamp sets <coughs> with dies. Now, this Tulip Fields is not carrying over into the new catalogue, but the Flowering Tulips is. <coughs> let's see how i go today i also have butter menthols off to the side the brush bass brass butterflies are carrying over can't remember about the ribbon <coughs> please excuse me for a second while i actually have a butter menthol and see how that helps my throat otherwise I may need to abandon this because I kind of need to talk. <coughs> I was talking a bit this morning and it was fine, but yeah. Okay. Let me check. Um, just checking the ribbon page. Yes. The evening evergreen window pane check is in the 
and your catalogue as well. So closer look at the stamp sets, not that we're using them today. This also has a builder, a builder die set. So you can build the dies, um, the tulips and they're, they're beautiful. So you can see that there. And then this is the set that hasn't carried over. So you've got the windmill dies and you've got the stamp set. Oh, that coughing has now given me a drippy nose. My word. I cannot win today. Hello, Miss Cindy. Okay. So, I'm being very good. Blow your nose, sanitize your hands. Even though everything's negative and i think it is just talking way too much on the weekend over the loud music okay i'll pop the catalog out of the way otherwise we will never make a card okay my cords are being very very rude okay the piece of paper that I wanted to use. Now, this paper is not staying around. This will not, this is not in the new catalogue. So, I'm going to use this piece of paper, which reminds me of Floriade in Canberra. And I'll just show you the rest. So, they have these beautiful watercolors oh, like these cloud ones i so want to use but i haven't yet i need to i need to prioritize using these because they are gorgeous okay piece of paper don't know i think i might try and make two cards today one simple one stepped up I know I want to use this. Um, I'm thinking and considering. Okay. So let's do this. Okay. So I'm going to have... So you kind of get all the colours in one. So one card front I'm going to do really really simply and this is going to be our card front sentiment bit of ribbon um, and maybe our brass butterflies and we're all good to go I, I love the perspective of this this one doesn't quite have the same perspective but we've still got all the colours in it. God, that butter menthol worked well. Oh, uh, it's voice strain, Cindy. I've strained my voice on the weekend. So, yeah, I had a cold the other week. Um, but I'm okay. I'm okay from that cold. Okay, this one, I want to take it down... A centimeter no I'm gonna leave it like this for the moment and I'm gonna cut some strips and do that but I'm just gonna leave this as one pit mm -hmm. so if that is so five ten fifteen that's wrong four and a half nine and one two three four and um okay we're going to do four and a half strips and we're going to see what happens i love that we've got such a variety of colors in this paper which is lovely I hope you guys are trusting me here because I am pretty tired from the weekend. 
I know the, the wedding went super late. But you know, by the time you get back and you unwind and yeah. There we go. So we're left with a little bit of a scrap and that is fine. So I have one, two, three panels for our second card. So I kind of want to look at card-based colours now and I'll probably do the same for both. So let's have a read of our back piece. So we have Calypso Coral. I don't think I'll use Evening Evergreen, Fresh Freesia, Highland Heather, Mango, Pepsas, Petal Pink. Petal Pink might work. So I can't really see the pool party in these pieces. Um, okay, I'm going to grab some petal pink and see what we think. I'm just looking. Oh, oh, do you know what? I cut this piece wrong. No, you know what? That really doesn't work. So there you go. The bang for one. Uh, maybe some coral. We might just go white, but I wouldn't, you girls know, I love colour. Nope. <laughs> Although, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Um, so saffron, that may actually work. Hello, Joy. How are you? Kind of, oh, I just I have my hand on the wrong pack. And how lovely of all these packs of paper to have a card front waiting for me to play with. That is a hard no. A hard no to that. Okay, I think we're going to go white because... Unless someone, I don't think, is a Blackberry Bliss? It looks like, no, it's Rich Razzleberry. I'm going to grab Rich Raz, and that's going to be the last one I try. Oh, that is a Rich Raz, that's Cherry Cobbler. Okay. That's Rich Raz. And guess what? It's the one packet I don't have a card front for. Yeah, it's Poppy Parade. Oh, see, that looks good. Okay, Cindy, I'll grab our Poppy Parade just for you. Just for you. It definitely does need a darker colour or a white. This... So I do like it on the retras, and I'm saying no straight away to the poppy. But it doesn't mean I'm not going to use these colours, I'm just not going to use them for a card base. That's all I'm discounting them for, because I do have a tulip I want to make on them. Oh, perfect, Sylvia. Hello, Miss Maureen. Hello, Margaret. <clears throat> so I'm going to make two landscape cards. This piece has been cut down already. So can't get two card bases out of the rich Razzleberry, which is fine. It's all good. Okay. But... Do, 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 over here, bring this back over here, turn it down. So, for a landscape card, I score across the short side of the paper, and this will work with letter size as well. And then I cut in half 
along lengthways and that will give me two if I can get it on the right spot there we go that will give me two landscape card bases which is exactly what I need okay oh silly me silly 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 me Ooh, that was a lot of excessive noise that we didn't need I had to cut that one slightly incorrectly but that is now fixed there you go I put that away much quieter than I took it down hello Miss Jamie I totally missed you Jamie cut me some slack woman And actually, you were the last comment I didn't read, Jamie. Jeez, you're a needy friend. Jeez, Louise. I can't. I don't have the eyes in the side of my head to read the screen. I actually have to stop what I'm doing to do it. Jeez, talk about attention-seeking. Hey, Deb, how are you? I know. I know. Okay, so score these card bases. One I can glue down straight away because that's what I've decided. And that gets a piece of paper off my table. And then we just need to worry about our tulips. Oh my God, the power of the butter menthol. I was totally choking before. I know, Jane, I don't know if you have butter menthols in other countries, but Jamie knows what I'm talking about. Just soothes the throat and clears the nose. Like it says on the ads. Although, I'm sure that's not an ad anymore. Okay, that one's perfect. I mean, perfect like me, of course. And then, this is what I want to do with the second one. So, we've stepped it up a little bit, but nothing too crazy. So, this is what I was thinking and I'm actually thinking we could, no, this will be perfect, just like so. See, break it up, same, same, but different, and obviously different pieces of the designer series paper. Sorry, I have a sticky bit on my desk and it's going to annoy me because I keep on Getting my hand on it. Look at that. Cleans it up just like a new one. I think I'm nearly at the stage where I need to replace this. And then I pulled the glue goober off, put it in the bin, and we're all right to rock. Okay, I think I'm going to be brave and stick this down. Very brave. One, two, three, four, five. Right. Because what I can do is put on each end. Well, that was a big wiggle, Ellen. Okay. That's okay. So I'm a bit further up on the bottom. That's fine. Do you know what? Even if I need to cut the card down a bit, I can do that. Just keep going. Don't second guess. So has anyone had anything exciting happen this weekend? I know, I think in Canada it's a public holiday. Uh, <coughs> Oh, 
look at my very first. Oh my God, Leslie, how bad was my very first Facebook Live? Actually, I had been doing live videos over on Periscope before I did my first YouTube Live. So I'm dare saying it was only technical difficulties that you can hold against me for my first Facebook Live. Oh no, that's not good. Hey, Marjean. Oh my God, I'm missing all the conversation. Quite busy at work. Love a butter menthol. I know, right? For the win. Okay, I need more information, Leslie. Cute little Christmas cards. Ah. Oh, unpacking craft room boxes. That's so exciting. Have you moved, Margaret? Or have you done something with your room? Tell us, tell us. Okay. Oh, it's Victoria Day there. Okay. I knew it was something. And how apt for the Queen's Jubilee as well, considering both Canada and Australia are um, Commonwealth countries. I dare say I do need to just snip a bit off the end of this. But I like the gaps that I have here. Okay. Oh, come on. I'm sure everyone has this happen to them. It's not just me. We will very carefully lift this up. And place it back down with a little bit more of okay there we go much happier with that I'll snip a bit off the end and then we're all good I may need to add a titch more glue at the bottom there I don't think too much I just take a little bit at a time. Just go through it again because I am going through two layers of paper. Do you know what? That slither has made it perfect. So no one knows that we've cut us all into a new home. How exciting. Did the craft room get unpacked first or last? Because pretty much with the craft room, you're either first or you're last. And I know with the painting that's happened here, um, the craft room wasn't painted first, but it was packed up and unpacked very, very quickly. So, Leslie, who were you talking to? Give me initials. Oh, you were talking to Donna? I need to know who you were talking to on the weekend about me. Oh, I know, Jamie, that is wrong. I need to come and talk to your husband. And um, I know he's been doing other stuff, but we really need to get this craft room moving. So then you and I, or I can come and visit you and we can craft together. Okay, two card bases. Stamp set, stamp set, stamp sets. Oh, I think I may have to go. Oh, okay. Artfully layered. Because I love sending all the hugs. That's just good. Good you can send hugs for birthday. You can send hugs if a friend is having a bad time. So, awfully layered or happy and heartfelt. And I think we may go with some very vanilla paper because this has no white. But because we've gone with the warmer tones, the very vanilla will work beautifully if I can find my very vanilla scrap thick very vanilla normal very vanilla thick basic white normal basic white 
the Crisper Wine Villain Art Berry Vanilla Scraps. Hmm, I think I will have to cut. E yes, exactly. No! Oh my god, that's annoying. That's annoying. Okay, I need to scroll up to see this comment. Only unpacking what I... Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. What I need as I'm still waiting for cupboards. Ah, uh, that's... A, oh, it's a brand new house. That's exciting. Yes. Yes, you have been patient. Four and a half hours. Four and a half years. Okay, I'm going to do sending all the hugs. Pop back the happy and heartfelt. Use the artfully layered. Now, we have to work out. Do you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and stamp this. Okay. Sending all the hugs. Yes, yeah, I thought that, Jay. I did think that. It's like, no, not four and a half hours. Sending all the hugs. Um, I'm thinking we're going to have to stick with a rich Raz because that's where we're sitting at. Um, and because we've chosen the lighter paper to do this on, I'm going to do one. And then I will choose a die to cut it out. And then we'll kind of go from there. Left myself plenty of room. Look at that. Perfect. Left it open. You guys are going to laugh by the amount of die sets that I have got out. Now, we all know layering circles will work. I'm not going to use the amazing things, so that can go back. Painted labels, that one will definitely work. So this one here, that will work. Stitched rectangles will definitely work. And scalloped contours. Mm. Kind of liking something a bit fancy smancy. Or, I do have, sorry, I've got stuff behind me from class. Uh, oh, I could use the deckled rectangles. No. 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 Okay, so if we want to use mix old and new, We've got the deckled rectangles, which are gorgeous. No, Jamie, you are being held hostage, woman. Held hostage. That one just works. Oh, no, that one works really well. This is from the All That die set so that's actually a more masculine set but this is anything but a masculine die i think i like this because it fits perfectly it's ornate so i'm going to put back everything else perfect thank you jamie i know i am you you look you didn't have to say it but i'll thank you for telling for you telling me I'm perfect. Okay, that one goes with that one. I think. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> I think it will be well rewarded. I have seen the plans for this room. And it's going to be the bomb. It's going to look so amazing when it's all done. The die is okay too. <laughs> uh, that's definitely the one. Yes, it is. Now, um, for those who did miss out earlier, I have the magnetic 
cutting plate, the brand new reconfigured uh, magnetic cutting plate. So I'm going to definitely do that. I need to stamp this one more time and we I will show you it in action. So we can definitely get two out of this piece. Close this up and I, so I, I would like some colour suggestions for the tulip we're going to punch out. So I'm assuming we're going to want something quite light. So maybe if I channel this petal pink, like a petal pink base and maybe Poppy Parade or Calypso Coral on top. Tell me what you think while we get die cutting. Oh no, I hate it when that happens. Next order, Leslie, next order. Okay, now, just so you know, when you purchase this uh, plate, the information on it is incorrect. The sandwich for this is plate one, Plate 5, which is our magnetic plate, and plate 3, which is our clear plate. That's all you need is the three plates. So this 5 plate replaces the number 3 plate, or the bottom number 3 plate, and the thin uh, plastic shim, which is number 2. So that's the die. So already... If I try and do anything with this, this die ain't moving. So I'm going to line it up exactly where I would like it, which is approximately there. It's not going to move. I'm just going to pop this in a little bit more. Now, I still can move it with that top plate if I knock it. Um, you know, it's not infallible, but it certainly is a help. Okay, let me bring this back through. And you can see that that, oh, that's cut perfectly with that embossed detail oh that's exactly what this card needed oh, that looks so good on there okay oh my dear word did i yes i left enough room yay sending all the hugs think think that looks okay there we go. And I am just going to pop that in a bit. So I always, I'm hoping you can see this, that when I put the plate in, I always put it in on an angle. Yeah, you can see I put it in on an angle and then when I'm happy, I pop it down and I... Because I'm explaining it, I moved it. That's okay. I just needed a titch of a tweak. There we go. Okay, so I pop it in on an angle. And then I sandwich it down. And then it just picks up. So I find that stops me from accidentally moving any of the dies. Um, ooh, that was not a good one because that went all the way off the bottom. Although, no, I can't use it. Can't, can't, can't use it. But we can stamp another. I'm hoping I have a large enough scrap in here that there is something I can do is that a large enough scrap nope I don't have a large enough scrap that's okay we will just cut off a piece of paper it's 
fine. User error. Hello, Miss Jenny. Yes, I know, right? I love it when Stampin' Up! does that. <clears throat> okay, just pop that on the ground for the moment. Go to my very vanilla. Oh, do you know what? I do have a bit of a scrappy. Oh, I have not a full. That is a card front, but it will. It will do. It will do for what we need. Stamp still here. Ink pad still here. We're all fine. Oh, nice. Sorry to hear you're a nice -o, but that's good. You can make the most of it, Jenny. Okay. Okay. I'm going to close this because these ink pads can be a little evil because it is such a heavily pigmented and dark ink. Bring this back. Okay. This here. I've definitely popped this one further up. That's perfect. Go in on the angle, sandwich down, and that just picks up perfectly. There we go. Take two. Take two. I had a question you missed. I said, uh, you said this plate is reconfigured. How is it different? Okay, the old plate didn't have a metal backing to it. This plate does. So essentially the top plate, thank you for re-asking it, Jamie. That's very good. Um, essentially the self-healing portion of the mat is exactly the same. Um, it now just has a metal plate on the back um, so you can see the self-healing and the, then the metal layer um, and that just stops the self-healing from uh, curling up which was the issue that was happening before so I do hope that answers your question now while I'm here I am going to cut some of these greenery bits out of honeybee blooms so we'll do all our die cutting together and i think i'm going pear possess just while we're here and we've got this out save us a bit more time yes yes they did go through a rigorous process uh, to fix the issue and look, so far, I can only say I have used it for one lot of uh, projects. We'll use this piece. Um, yeah, I've only used it uh, basically Thursday and Friday to uh, prep for my launch that was, I have no idea, Margaret. Um, it is designed for the... Stamp and cut and emboss. I have no idea if it will fit or work with any other machines. Sorry about that. So, very carefully just popping that off, and we will do one more for the second cut. Not that I really need it for here, but because I'm using a scrap, I don't want it rolling around. Uh, yes, it did, uh, Maureen. Um, the other, the original metallic plate did warp. Um, mine did. I was actually able to flatten it. I still have it here and I did grab it out when I knew this was 
ready to come out. I did grab it out and start using it. It did start warping a little bit again. Um, I was able to manage it. I um, A lot of people also have their clear plates warp a lot. Um, I manage... Sorry, I'm just going to drop this. Try and get this. I'll get the die to pop out later. And the die piece. Um, I, this is my top plate. But if this was my bottom plate, I use it this way. So I'll put the die here. I'll put the die there. I'll go left, right, left, right, left, right, middle. Um, you know, I try and evenly use my mat. I also try and use both sides. So I'll cut on both sides of the mat in all those areas. Let me show you how cut my current one is. I'll just pop this away now and then I'll bring that over. Just bear with me a second. So let me grab just this. This will do. You'll be able to see through that nicely um, how evenly cut my mat is. There is a tinsy bit of warp in there, but I flip, rotate, change the die placement. I do just have a tinsiest bit of warp. Um, I also store my plates under my machine. So when they're being stored, there is pressure on them. Um... But yeah, and these are plastic. You're cutting into plastic. They are going to warp over time. I find that I replace these when the cutting, the cutting um, indents start marking my paper. Um, that's when I change it because then I'm not getting that nice professional look like you can't see any cut marks on the back of that and they're not coming through to the front um when i start seeing those cutting it's like fine you've served me thank you for your service pop it in the bin and i do always have a spare spare set of plates hanging around i can't tell you how long the plates last because i'm cutting and crafting a lot and cutting for classes um so i do very very heavy Heavily use mine so hopefully that information has helped someone happy to answer these questions especially when I can show you uh, what I'm talking about at the same time as well so these dies do have ejection points so I've just taken my take your pick tool with this and then I just so I did get it moving and then we've got our two bits of greenery and that goes back on my mat on the chair beside me okay I think these are going to be a bit meager for the size of our tulip but it's going to give it some grounding and some greenery so you can see I'm probably going to keep exactly the same um, position for these. And I think I want to try the Petal Pink and the Calypso Coral. But I also think we may, we may, we may, oh, I don't even have much scrap. It's okay. I'll try it once and then we'll see how we go. And I may add some sponging or some um, blending to these. Oh, I may get two out of this piece. Oh, can I, can I? Can I, can I? I can. Look at us go. Okay, so I have two. And using our blending brushes to add some depth to these pieces, and that will just bring them to life. Okay, so I'm finished. Oh, that was blushing bride actually. But mm, maybe not. Damn, I did this the other day with card bases. I'm just going to put these in my use it up box and I'll come back to them. 
that's okay. It definitely just isn't peachy enough. I want the peachiness of the petal pink. Yes, just the peachiness just works a little better. Do you think I can? There we go. Okay. The, the Blushing Bride, whilst it's a warm pink, it is a pink pink. Uh, it's just, as Jamie's about to say, I can hear her saying, it's a dirty pink, which is why uh, some friends of ours call the Dirty Bride. Oh, that's very cute, Jenny. That is very sweet indeed. Oh, look at that. Two out of the one skinny piece. Would you go in the right spot and stay there? Right. That's better. I looked at it and didn't look right. Especially if I'm grabbing in Calypso Coral, which is a very, very warm um, orange. And that actually is the next colour if I'm talking about colour spectrums. Okay. I'm thinking this little scrappy scrap here. Now I don't I I'm going to need four of these pieces. So you have see that just looks beautiful. And then you're going to have a piece for the other side. Great way to use up your scraps doing some punch art. So you can see here, and we'll add a little bit of Calypso Coral ink to the underneath. So you've got a little bit of that colour, but you'll still have the petal pink base. Okay, and take another scrap. Go to one. So I just think this card needs one. It doesn't need two. Could do a whole bouquet of these if you wanted. But today we are not. Just going to pop all my little bits in my recycling bin. Because I do always try and recycle this. Yes, your mancoon was huge. It's a dirty pink, just peachy. That will be a really good name for a Stampin' Up! colour. But we do like alliteration in our, um, in our colours. Yes, Miso was a beautiful cat, Jamie. Okay, just a swig of water. Hopefully not enough to make me cough. Okay, these are the Stamparatus grid mats. I use them all the time for so many things. Have been known to take this to the shops with a shopping list. Um, yeah, <laughs> you know, it's whatever's closest to hand, isn't it, that gets used? Uh, maybe. No. Where is my orange? It's definitely red. That is definitely purple and blue. Not in that box. <coughs> Next box. Ah, here it is. It's this one here. That is my orange. Okay, so 
sorry that those boxes aren't available anymore, but for me, they are the perfect storage. Okay, so we're going to go really, really lightly here. So I'm just going to do lots of tapping off and see, just adding a titch of colour. I'm going to add colour at the bottom as well so you can see it where they where they meet or where they cross over. Okay, so same again. Just some very, very light colour, but it's enough to tone it all in. And then on the bottom. So I didn't even re-pounce. But you can see the difference so and then I'll do the other way and you can see just adding that bit of color brings the two tones uh, together perfectly um, do I I don't um, I am just going to add a little bit to the bottom of these Just to make it all work together. So there's one and two. And then this is one. Oh, maybe that did need a bit more ink. One. And flip this friend over. Two. A left and a right for both. Oh, I know. Waste not, want not. <coughs> Although I am quite known to use my stepping up uh, notebooks for those kinds of things. And here goes my voice again. It must be time for another butter menthol. I haven't used them much. I <coughs> have been resting my voice. I hope my bosses at work don't hear this. I did say I can't work on the phone. Okay, no problems, Jenny. Mighty word. I really am concentrating here and getting quite frustrated, but I'm going to change the pedals to that because that looks better. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that centerpiece actually. Oh, that coughing, jeez. Oh yes, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I 
don't shout over the music at weddings is my current um is my current piece of advice not sure i'm loving this what do you reckon jamie talk to me anyone talk to me tell me what you think i need something else do I need another pedal? What do I need? I'm going to punch another pedal and see how we go. <clears throat> because what's the harm, I say? Oh, I know, but I'm not happy. I okay I get what you're saying now with wink no 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 I'm just not happy with that so see I can put another pedal there and then just snip off the bottom but yes I hear you on the wink yes When I put it on to here, it will tone and pop. So. Okay. Just needed another pedal. And... I'll do the same on the other one. Ah, <laughs> uh, Calypso Coral, Jenny. And I will add more, um, I will add more ink because it definitely needs more blending. So sorry for that interruption. It was actually my painter. But I will ring him back because he's interrupting my video. How rude, right? How rude. Okay. Let's just snip this piece off the bottom. Snip this off the bottom. Done. Add a little bit. Where did that sheet go? Here we go. So I've used Petal Pink and Calypso Coral, which are the colours in these flowers. And I'm apparently molting because my hair is there. Okay. Blend that all together. Pop a little bit more on the top. This one has more on the top 
anyway so this one just needs a little bit more on the sides definitely going to mention all these two but let's just do a bit of a try I don't mind it we're gonna go with it because we've got this scar just need to use dimensionals I don't know what the color I would have used could have used the yellow could have done white tulips <sighs> yeah maybe but we are also going to add wink once they're all on and that will lift it and we're also not putting them directly onto it. And I do wonder what very vanilla would have looked like, like just doing some very vanilla um, tulips because there are that colour tulips. But that's okay. I've chosen this because no one else was giving me feedback. So we're just winging it. And hopefully I've, even if you wouldn't choose these colours, I've given you some ideas about dye placement. I've spoken to you about the, um, the, the magnetic sheet. We've done lots of talking today. Yes, I know, I know. It's all good, Janie. All good, but wink should elevate it really, really nicely. I don't even know where my rubbish bin is in at the moment. And I shouldn't be taking these off just yet, but that's okay. I'll pop that up there and I hopefully won't grab it. So this can go somewhere about there in a straight fashion <laughs> oh look I'm doing well for only two butter menthols in that time just grabbing the thickest areas with this have some bodgy winks at the moment so let me see which one is the one that's not this is my really really dry one and then I've got one that's just flowing like the bejeebas yeah see that one's flowing like the bejeebas and not having much come out so I'm gonna flirt with death here and just squeeze this a little bit oh no we've had a titch of a flood I did say I was flirting with death here okay <laughs> I don't know how much yeah you can really see how much came out there but anyway but anyway that's what happens when you squeeze and you don't wait you just get an avalanche That's okay. 
Okay, no problems, Jenny. I'll see you next time. Okay, take two on our more simple one. So this just doesn't have the cut up background. Done. Tinsy, tinsy dots. I am just going to pop a block on this for a second. Hopefully that will be enough. Oh, no problems. Thank you, Jamie. Not a problem at all. Happy you could join us for a little bit. So I think in the end, the colours did turn out quite well when you put them on the card. So let's do minimal wink. Much better when you don't have an avalanche. That's okay, we just have extra shimmer on that card. There we go. Do we need a couple of brass butterflies? Brushed brass butterflies. Just thinking we could like possibly put one in the sentiment there. Oh, they are in my class stuff because they were one of our options, I think. Um, we're just in Nope. Okay, they're definitely... Uh, you guys don't just want to see what slid into an open ink pad. This is why you shouldn't leave open ink pads on your desk. Because now I have a clean up on aisle five. But I found my brush bar, brass butterflies. Okay. Let's pop these back. I think that one needs cleaning up too. And that one is safe. <clears throat> okay. Brush brass butterflies. Say that 10 bazillion times quickly. Hopefully this will tie in the, um, the excess shimmer. What do you reckon? If we're not going, if we can't fix it, so we're going to enhance it, I say. Okay. So, definitely want a tinsy one. Or maybe a tinsy two down here see a cute little tinsy too and then not helpful Maybe I just want to use the edge of my scissors. <laughs> Thinking maybe just like that. Let's see how we go with this one. Where I wanted it, nor in the direction. 
direction that I want to do. One one way, one the other way. So we've got two little ones there that just fit in that space perfectly. And then just going to put one right there. I don't know if it helps or hinders, but we are going to use them and love them and do all the things to just try to blend in our um, little bit of explosion as much as we can. So that is our two cards. Go to Woe cards today. We really did um, get there. In the end, I really need to close this ink pad because I really, really am flirting with more danger. So I already have a clean up to do. So let's look at what we used today. So, dye wise, we used honeybee blooms. We used look, all that dyes. Okay. So, we used um, our greenery, our little leaves, and we used our frame. The stamp set, besides the flowering fields that we use, we use artfully layered. Used our brush brushed brass butterflies and we used our tulip punch to create these two cards so let me show you them up close let's see what we can get here so you can see that shimmer see that shimmer we may 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 make some uh, different color choices but these still do pop quite nicely so you can tell me which one you like whether you like the full panel or the cut up panel so just tell me in the comments which one is your preferred and i thank you so much carol my pleasure thank you for bearing with my voice i do appreciate it but didn't want to let you guys down and um not come on and join you so um, please make sure you give me the thumbs up, subscribe, do all those things. Um, and I will be back on Thursday. Actually, I will have a video going up on YouTube tomorrow when I actually um, design those cards for the Christmas stamp -thon. Um So that's going up tomorrow and I'll also be live on Thursday on YouTube. You like the cut panel, Carol. Okay. Um, it does break it up a little bit, doesn't it? But I love the perspective of this one. I like different things about different ones. So make sure you are following and subscribing and doing all those things over on YouTube so you get notifications when I go live. Yeah, I don't actually feel sick, Colleen. It really is just my voice and all the coughing that makes my nose run, but I'm not actually sick. I was even at the doctor for something else this morning and she said my throat looks fine. So all these um, items are available in my online stores. So if you would like any, please pop over and I would love you to shop with me. I will see you on Thursday over on YouTube. Any questions, please ask. If not, I'll see you then. Bye.